the determination of median because you, with the help of graph we are identifying we are locating the median as well as quartile 1 quartile 2 quartile 3 the perpendicular line is extending to x series so this mark where it is uh, touching the point of x axis now we are able to identify the 24 is a your median from the last i am going for the more than cumulative frequency now we need to plot the data in graph Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidya Shram, first grade college, Mysore, the temple of excellence. So we are in the unit one, section five, business statistical, third semester, BCom. So uh, first unit, uh, statistical data and descriptive statistics. And today my agenda is the few problem, whatever I have covered in the last uh, uh, session. So which will continue for here, yeah, the median related problem using uh, the determinations of median and quartile identification and locating the median with the help of problem. How already you are well familiar in the last question then also we are I took a few more examples questions so in this one example of this problem last uh, last problem what we did uh, one more problem with the help of one more problem uh, we are trying to locate the median as well as quartile quartiles we have draw cumulative frequency curve by second method less than method and calculate the median from it we using a formula we are able to locate the value even the with the help of graph also we are able to locate the median value because along with the median I am I am just focusing to how, how to locate on quartile 1 quartile 2 quartile 2 is nothing but your median and quartile 3 also we are able to locate okay so this uh, whatever the information is given in this question I have written in this format so mark less than 55 uh, why I have written less than 5 because we are trying to do less than cumulative for a curve that's what we are uh, have, I have written like this Okay, less than 5, less than 10, less than 15, less than 20, less than 25, less than 30, less than 35, less than 40. That means what? It is an upper limit. Lower limit means it will start from 0 to 5. Okay, now 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20 like that it is a sequence will going. The, in the question, the frequency, whatever it is given, I took the total is, I am getting n is equal to 100, the total, the first step. Now, now the first step will be always you need to do in the, uh, when you are doing a for median, so we need to get a cumulative frequency, more than uh, cumulative frequency, first four as it is I have written, second uh, how I am getting, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 25, 55, 55 plus 22, 77, 77 plus 18, 95, 95 plus 500. The 100 whatever I am getting from last value which is equivalent to total frequency. Okay. Now the second step we need to do for median just applying the simple formula n by 2. N value I am writing 100, 100 divided by 2. I am able to get 50. Now after getting this value from the cumulative frequency I need to assume more than the 50. Okay, more than the 50 means this one, this class is coming under median class because here say after 30, 55. Now I need to assume more than 50. After simplifying this value, I need to assume this is called for median class. Moving forward. So in this question, whatever it is given, now we can write uh, in this format also. Otherwise, directly also we can do. So now uh, moving forward, this graph, we, how we can locate. Now here x axis 1 centimeter 5 units. Okay, now the from the class interval, five units are difference, difference we are finding. That's what in the x-axis I have written a, a marks so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Now, from y-axis I have considered for cumulative frequency. In the cumulative frequency, the value for cumulative frequency here see the 4, 10, 20, 30. 55, 77, 95, 100, the least value 5, the maximum value 100. That's what I took for 10, 10 difference here, which is starting from origin 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So immediately you need to write the scale by y x, x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 5 units different. 
and y axis 1 cm is equal to 10 units difference for cumulative frequency. So, after uh, plot the value then we need to apply the formula simple formula to find out the median. Median is nothing but your quartile 2. So, the formula for median is n by 2 in case of quartile 2 the formula is 2 into n. 2 into n we directly have written n plus ok I, once again I am writing the cumulative q2 formula 2n divided by 4 times ok in the median n by 2. So, uh, both are same the median what we are getting which is equivalent to quartile 2. So, that is what I have written two formula I have simplified here. So, directly 100 by 10 because the median means uh, n plus we are writing 100, 100 divided by 2 if you simplify we are getting 50, uh, uh, we are getting the 50 value. How? Uh, 100 by 2 if you uh, divide it we are getting 50. Otherwise in case of quartile uh, 2 into n plus 100, 2 into 100 means 200 divided by 4 parts then 50 both are equal ok. Now again uh, from the graph it is clear that the median value is 24 how we are able to identify. So after calculating median now median means see now after simplifying I am getting 50, 50 so just uh, 50 in the frequency cumulative frequency 50 oh, uh, perpendicular line if you exactly look at so which is uh, touching for the less than curve this is your less than cumulative frequency curve ok. So from the 50 whatever you calculated q2 or median 50 so you just mark uh, using a perpendicular line ok till the uh, the perpendicular line which uh, it will touch for the less than cumulative frequency then which is uh, uh, going down to the x axis which is called median or quartile 2. Now 24 I am able to locate here ok the quartile or median I can locate here 24 once again I am repeating here. So median or nothing but q2, q2 formula 2. 2 into n divided by 4 Qua, uh, median formula n by 2 if you simplify you are getting 50 either you are doing for quartile 2 or median the you are getting finally 50 F 50 how you can consider when you want to mark from the y axis frequency 50 50 now perpendicular line means dotted line so which is uh, touching the till the end of a less than cumulative frequency after touching again it is going down the perpendicular line is extending to x series. So this mark where it is uh, touching the point of x axis now we are able to identify the 24 is a your median ok that is what I have written 24 as a median. Now again in the quartile also we are trying to do for q1 how q1 formula n by n 1 into 1 means 1 into n divided by 4 ok now same thing 4 divided 100 divided by 4 if you simplify I am getting 25 from the cumulative frequency 25 where it is now it is cumulative q1 place ok because after simplifying I am getting 25 so from the cumulative frequency I need to go for cumulative frequency which is starting from 25 which is going forward direction till the perpendicular line touching point after touching this ok which is going down to x axis this particular value is called uh, we around we are getting 17.5 now q1 value we are getting 17.5 ok now again we are trying to do for quartile 3 the formula is very simple 3 into n divided by 4 if you simplify 3 into 100 divided by 4 means 300 divided by 4 75 now 75 again y axis uh, cumulative frequency 75 very very exactly so again you draw the perpendicular line uh, till the perpendicular line is touching the point of uh, less than cumulative frequency curve ok less than cumulative frequency curve this point which is intersecting. So again it is going down to y x axis ok it will touch this point. So the point is you are getting the value of 29.5 29.5 once you identify all this ok it is very simple to uh, locate the value with the help of graph ok moving forward for the next problem. Uh, suppose we are given the following series like the class interval is given 0 to 10, 10, 10 difference, 10 to uh, 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70. So okay, again the frequency also given. 
सिक्स ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी सेवन सेवेंटीन एट फाइव सो यूजिंग दिस इंफॉर्मेशन क्लास इंटरवल एज वेल एज फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉट दे आर आस्किंग टू फाइंड आउट इयर वी आर आस्क टू ड्रा दि बोर्ड टाइप ऑफ ओग्यू फ्रॉम दिस डेटा एंड डिटर्माइन दि मीडियन बिकॉज अगेन यूजिंग द ग्राफ ओनली वी आर ट्राई टू लोकेट दि मीडियन वैल्यू बिकॉज नाउ वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट मेथड बोथ दि मेथड ओके लेस देन एंड मोर देन करो ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो वॉट वी आर रिटर्न वेन वी आर ट्राई टू डू फॉर लेसर क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी वी विल ऑलवेज कंसिडर फॉर अपर लिमिट वेन वी आर ट्राई टू डू फॉर मोर देन क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी वी आर ऑलवेज कंसिडर फॉर लोअर लिमिट लोअर लिमिट and this one is your upper limit okay so whatever the information is given i have written like this in this format because less than it is the name only suggesting with the help of less than we are try to do for less than cumulative frequency with the help of more than value uh, class we are try to find out more than cumulative frequency uh, in this problem the frequency is given the frequency total if you add together n is equal to 107 i am getting so same thing now we need to uh, convert the uh, cumulative frequency how the same procedure 6 as it is i am writing 6 plus 12 18 18 plus 20 to 40 40 plus 37 i am getting 77 77 plus 17 94 94 plus 8 102 102 plus Uh, 5 107 i am getting so after conversion okay now very carefully you have to observe here when you are try to convert for the more than cumulative frequency always you have to go uh, from the last value from the last value see the cumulative frequency whatever it is given in the question i am writing as it is but i am not following i am not going from the first value i am going from the last value the first five i have written as it is okay second value how much how i am getting 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 17 30 30 plus 37 67 67 plus 22 89 89 plus 12 i am getting 1 not 1 1 1 plus 6 1 7 reverse i am going for the more than or less than means i am going from the from the beginning okay from the last i am going for the more than cumulative frequency now we need to plot the data in graph okay moving forward so now you know the difference right upper limit look at uh, the problem is given the 10 10 difference is given the 10 10 difference is given so this is your class uh, interval x axis i need to consider and the frequency is always going for the y axis now we are not writing just uh, frequency we are writing um, cumulative frequency because the value is increased now okay that's what so using this information now i have consider x axis is a class interval each class having a difference for 10 10 10 10 now immediately i need to write the scale 1 cm is equal to 10 units and even the y axis what whatever it is given which is not just for frequency which is a cumulative frequency more value see you can observe in the last slide okay the minimum value is 6 the maximum value is 107 that's what the difference i took for 10 10 different now immediately i need to write y axis 1 cm is equal to what difference you took 10 10 difference you took no that's what uh, which is starting from the 0 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 100 100 110 110 why i took because the maximum value in the previous uh, it is 107 it is given that's what i i took uh, till the value for 110 okay once i did what i need to do the format the, with the help of this information whatever we converted i have written just for your understanding the class interval i have written as it is now frequency also it is written okay which is given in the question but already converted less than cumulative frequency also converted in the previous conversions okay the same thing i have copied here just for your understanding and even the more than cumulative frequency also once again i am uh, explaining here the frequency whatever it is given the first value as it is right okay when you are try to do for less than okay first 6 uh, 6 plus 2 12 18 uh, this method is applicable for Uh, less than cumulative frequency when you are try to do for more than cumulative frequency you have to go for the last value the last value phi as it is you are writing 5 plus 8 you are writing 13 so re from the reverse if you go okay so this data it is very important to plot into the graph the first value now the data 
uh, we are not uh, using this frequency when we are plotting the uh, value for into the graph. We are consider this two major value like less than cumulative frequency and more than cumulative frequency. Now we'll go for when we are try to do for less than cumulative frequency. Always you have to give priority for upper limit. When we are try to do for more than cumulative, uh, always we are giving a priority for lower limit. Okay. Now first we'll try to go for the less than cumulative frequency. The first upper limit is 10. Our first upper limit is 10. The value of cumulative frequency is 6. I am just marking here. Okay. And second upper limit is 20. My second uh, uh, cumulative frequency value is 18. Uh, now 20 just opposite to uh, 18 I want to mark. Uh, okay. Next. The sec third uh, upper limit is 30. The uh, uh, less than cumulative frequency total is 40. Now 30 opposite to 40. I just want to mark here and the same thing 40 opposite to uh, 77. 40 opposite 77 somewhere it is here. Okay. And again next one 50 opposite 94. 50 opposite 94 somewhere here. Okay. And next 60 opposite 102. 60 opposite 102. 102 somewhere it is locating here. Okay. And again la last one 70. 107. 70 class uh, I want to mark for 107. Okay. After floating, after uh, pointed, then you have to extend the line. Okay. Which is starting from here. Okay. So like this, you have to extend the line. This is called less than cumulative type. Okay. Now, once you completed, now we are trying to go for more than cumulative frequency. Again, when you are trying to do for more than cumulative frequency, always you need to give priority for the lower limit. The first value which is starting from zero, lower limit first value zero, the cumulative frequency 107. So that's what in the X series zero, the value is 107, 107 I need to mark. Okay, the second lower limit is 10. The value is a cumulative frequency value 101. The second value which is starting uh, the class is 10. Okay, 101. Now I need to mark here. Okay, 101 are just opposite 101. Okay. Now again, 20, 9, 89. 20, 89. Okay. Now and again, 30, 67. 30, 67. 67 somewhere here it is getting clear. Now 67, next I want to go for 40, 30, 40, 30, somewhere because if you are using a graph, you will be able to look at exactly, but I just here drawn and uh, again 40, 30, 40, 30 mark completed. Now 50, 13, 15, just 13 year. Okay. Now last two, uh, lower limit is 60, value is 5, 60, value is 5. Now the what wherever you pointed wherever you mark then line is extended like this okay now less than curve and more than curve where it is intersecting this point is intersecting now you need to uh, extend the par uh, perpendicular using a perpendicular line uh, so till the till it is touching for x x point okay so this point is an x point clear so uh, now after intersecting now you have to extend the line using a perpendicular line. Now this particular dot is a, a dotted line. Okay, till the till it is touching for x axis. Now this is called median. Median we are getting 33.86. Now okay, once you completed, then you, again you just for a cross checking. We are with the help of formula also we are, we are able to solve this. Okay. So moving, so anyway, I, in the graph also I have explained using a formula also we, we can calculate. Here say, so the applying step of I, directly we are doing step of I because we are well familiar, we are already completed, okay. So applying the formula, the formula also very simple, M is equal to N, uh, L plus N by 2 minus Q. Uh, CF cumulative frequency divided by frequency into C. So L, according to formula, whatever the, uh, it is there, you need to write uh, what the given information. So in this case, uh, I am writing here one more time C, uh, N by 2, which is there here, where now the formula is uh, N by 2, 
107 is the frequency total here 107 is the frequency total if you simplify we are getting 53.5 53 point when you are try to consider when you are try to go for locating the value based on the less than cumulative frequency always you have to assume more than the whatever you calculated we are uh, once you calculated and simplified we are getting 53.5 you need to consider more than the cumulative frequency means this class okay this class is called median class this class is called median class now now we are uh, try to underline the complete okay row the row we are able to find out lower limit we are able to find out cumulative uh, frequency we are able to find out the uh, after calculations of value 77 we are able to locate now according to formula whatever it is there we are writing like this l is equal to 30 lower limit is 30 because once you identify the median class now we need to simplify the formula right that's what i will write like this uh, lower limit 30 n by 2 we already simplified 53.5 your, your cumulative frequency pre cumulative frequency always uh, when the median class what you are exactly locating the previous value previous value now cumulative frequency in this case 40 in this case 40 and the respected frequency 37 and the each class width is 10 now after identify now we are able to simplify very simple now m is equal to l plus we are writing 30 uh, then n by 2 directly we are writing 53.5 minus cumulative frequency plus we are writing 40 and divided by f plus frequency plus i am writing 37 into each class width 10 so now again i need to remove this one i need to simplify first as it is i am writing 30 30 plus so 53.5 minus 14 13.5 divided by frequency 37 into into 10 again uh, one more uh, simplification 30 as it is i am writing so 13.5 into 10 135 divided by 37 frequency okay again one more time the 30 i am writing as it is so if you simplify this one you are getting 3.65 so the uh, median is 33.65 in the previous graph how much we got a uh, 37.85 here we are getting 33.65 we are getting one small little variation why which is variation because we are not used the perfect graph sheet that's what we are getting a variations okay i hope you understood keep on watch for next session thank you